Hey everyone, I'm your average guy Sahil Gogna. Welcome back to another video. So I have been getting a lot of requests from subscribers to also explore some other industries apart from computer science. So in today's video, we are going to meet one Korea University graduate from industrial engineering. So let's go. Himanshu, hey first of all, thanks a lot for sparing our time and joining the call today. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure, Sahil. So guys, let me tell you one thing. So I reached Himanshu's friends over LinkedIn and he volunteered for this video. So I'm really happy that there are such people who really want to help the community. So thanks a lot Himanshu for that. Oh, it's my pleasure. Sahil. So Himanshu, before we start, can you please tell the audience something about your background, what you did in India and something about your professional experience? Uh, well, I'm from Mandi, Himachal Pradesh, India. Uh, I did my bachelor's in mechanical engineering uh, from SRM University. And then I worked for one year in Nissan as a mechanical engineer. And then I came to Canada for pursuing my master's in industrial engineering. So I did it in Concordia. And currently I'm working as a manufacturing engineer in a fashion and apparel industry. His name is Sam Wilson. Oh, that's very awesome. And uh, was the Canada just the prime choice for the, your master's? Or you also considered some other countries for this? Uh, well, my first task was like to filter out the universities, okay. uh, which offer the course that I want to pursue. I want to go for like masters in engineering management or industrial engineering. Mm -hmm. So then I got some universities in Germany, in Canada. I okay. started applying for them. And then at full and final, I decided to come to Canada. Okay. And uh, why did you just choose uh, Concordia University? Were there any other universities that you applied to while you were planning for Canada? Uh, well, that's a good question. Uh, I left my job in October 2017. And at that time, I had two things with me. Either apply for the spring intake okay. or the next year fall intake. So I was like, not waste, don't have that much time and let's go to for studies as early as possible. Mm -hmm. So the best option was spring intake. So I filtered out the universities which offer industrial engineering in spring intake. I got into a Windsor, Delosi, Concordia. Okay. I got the call from three of them. And then I, there's many factors like which I keep in mind. Like it's a big city, I like the life after job and studies and student life. Yeah. So finally I concluded I'll go to Concordia. Okay. And were there any specific requirements in terms of admission? So was it really hard to get here in Concordia University? Uh, well, during that time, uh, there are some considerations. For example, mm -hmm. you need to have IELTS more than 6.5. Okay. In bachelor, you need to have more than 60 percentile. Two letter of recommendation from your professors. One from your job reporting manager, if you're working somewhere. Mm -hmm. And one statement of purpose of 500 to 600 words explaining why you want to come to Concordia and this particular course. Okay. And Imanchi, if we talk about your professional experience, was it really helpful to get you here in Concordia University? And do you suggest people to have the experience first and then come here to Concordia University in terms mm -hmm. of just the admission? Yeah. In terms of just admission, it's all about making your profile strong. Okay. okay. Uh, you have a good IELTS score and you have a work experience. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are like out of the league. Mm -hmm. And you can easily apply and you'll get a call for sure. And But it, when it comes to like job experience, if your job is matching with the one you want to pursue after your master studies, mm -hmm. your past experience will help you. Otherwise, it won't help. Because when you go for interview, they'll ask what you did in your past experience and they try to match it with their job uh, priorities, responsibilities. Mm -hmm. If it's going to match, it will be helpful. So yeah, from my personal experience, yeah, it helped me a lot. Okay. And if we talk specifically about Concordia University, so how was your student experience? How were the professors and uh, how were the students around you? Were they all experienced? Were they freshers? So how was overall environment mm -hmm. in, in Concordia University? Well, Concordia was one of my best chapters in life, I would say. Uh, the reason being, because I compared with Indian education system, you don't need to go to school every day, Monday mm -hmm. to Friday. You have a particular time. You go as per your course. And other days you can prioritize for your gym, for your part-time jobs and everything. Yeah. So this is the best thing. In terms of professors, they are very approachable. There is no such thing called ego. Mm -hmm. You just take an appointment and go and talk to them. And there are a lot of different chapters and organizations inside Concordia, which helps in your soft skills, your management skills, your leader skills. So overall, yeah, it's like a wish tree, I would say. Concordia is like a wish tree. You'll get whatever you want for. Oh, that's very amazing. Yeah. And was your degree really hard to pursue? Like, I, I really have no idea about industrial engineering. Mm -hmm. So how are the subjects and how did you choose? Like, which subjects are good for your future considering the job factor? Yeah. Well, I would say Canada is a big country, it's a big economy. And it's, there is no such thing like particular sector is in high demand. It's all on the matter of interest of a particular individual. Okay. Like, if he has interest, he'll definitely find a way to get a job. And in Concordia studies, it's like they have, you need to prove yourself, man. Mm -hmm. We have people from different countries, Iran, China, India. They all are fighting to get a good grace so that yeah. they can get a good job. Yeah. So definitely, yeah, it's hard. 
And what was the cost of your degree? Was it really expensive? Um, for like latest update, we can go to Concordia website. But for my case, from 2018 till 2020, mm -hmm. it was $28,000 for two years, oh. Canadian dollars. Yeah. It's generally like I have found for other courses also, it's $28,000 plus $2,000 for your insurance. Yeah. Like it's approximately $30,000. Approximately thirty, thirty-two thousand. yeah. Okay. And if we talk about the job industry, so how closely it's related to the mechanical industry? Like I really have no idea about industry, so that's why I'm asking this. No, no, no. So it's a good how, question. Yeah. How closely it's related to mechanical industry and are there enough jobs for, for mm -hmm. the industrial engineers? Uh, if I talk specifically about Montreal or Quebec, uh, first thing is French. Mm -hmm. uh, if you know French, like you'll get six out of ten calls. Okay. okay. If you are bilingual, if you are English speaking, then four out of ten. And jobs are there. It's not like there's not there. It is there. It's all about like you have to just go into the you know the ocean and just search for the fish. Okay. Uh, and was it really hard for you to apply for jobs? And what was your overall job search experience? And how much time did it took you to get the job? Well, my my experience like I, I completed my studies in the mid of pandemic, April 2020, man. So it took me around four to six months to find a good job, mm -hmm. not a job, a good job that I want. Okay. So, but in that four to six months, I like, I, I, I optimize a lot of things. I improve a lot of things, my resume, my skills, technical soft skill management skills. And I, I understand how the Canadian industry work, okay. right? That's the main thing. It's not like India, you need to go for a written exam, then in group discussion that yeah. I didn't know. If you know people inside, you're inside. So networking is important. Mm -hmm. You have to be open, you have to be adaptable. So this is what I learned and finally I landed up in a job which I want to pursue. That's amazing. I want to work for. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what were the resources you were using to apply for your job? Was it only LinkedIn or you, you had some other resources also? I, I, I used two networking sites, Indeed and LinkedIn. Okay. I took LinkedIn Premium. And I think the main use of LinkedIn is to connect with people. Mm -hmm. It's not about job hunt, it's about connecting with them. Yeah. Ask them, you have to ask them. Hey, my name is this, I did this, is this. Yeah. There's a, uh, like a vacancy in your organization. Mm -hmm. And can you please help me with that? I know we don't really know each other, but still, if you'll help me, it will be a big boom for me. Yeah. I did this thing with a lot of people. Somebody, some people reply, some not. So, indeed, I use specifically for applying for jobs. Mm -hmm. okay? And LinkedIn is for networking. So, Imanshu, any final advice for the people who are watching our video? Uh, so, I, I would like to say this thing. When you come to Canada for studies, there would be some culture shocks for you. Okay, Just take time to get settled. Once you get settled, uh, start working on your skills. It could be like management skills, soft skills, leadership skills. Uh, be adaptable, be open. If you get a chance to learn French, go for it, learn it. Just give a try at least. So always be ready for like new challenges, new tasks. And once you complete your studies or like in the mid of that, start applying for the jobs or internships and meeting new people, specifically from your professional background. These are very small, small things, but like they'll make a big difference at the end. And that's it, that's it. That's what I'm saying is for my own experience. And wish you a good luck to everyone. So guys, this was our today's video about industrial engineering offered at Concordia University. In case you are liking the video, please make sure to subscribe the channel because this is not just a YouTube channel. We are trying to form here a community and let's be a part of this community and help this community grow. See you in the next video. Till then, stay safe.